Liberty Call, Liberty Call. The aircraft carrier is anchored way out there and coming ashore by boat after boat is the crew of USS George Washington. So where are we? Welcome, Welcome to, to Sasebo. Sasebo is our first port visit to a city that's home to a U.S. Navy base. And here at Fleet Activity Sasebo, our crew are finding all the comforts of home. Instead of sailors going to the local shops, the base brought the shops to the sailors. This on-base bazaar offering everything to satisfy your Asian appetite. But you know me, I have to get out and explore. So across the Albuquerque Bridge we go. Sailor Town is to the left, Saki Town is to the right. Sailor Town is where you'll find the historic Westerner, a Japanese bar that pays homage to the American West. It's been here since the Korean War, and apparently so have the waitresses. While some come here for a taste of the Old West, perhaps a shot of old snake bite, I'm here to listen to GW's lawmen sing? I wanna know, have you ever seen the rain? Hiding somewhere in the night Oh sweet Caroline The town never seems so good So good, so good, so good Speaking of good times, how about a little outdoor fun? Sea kayaking is just one of the many trips offered by the ship's morale, welfare, and recreation team. It's one of the best natural sites in the Sasebo area. Between the crystal clear water, the amazing patterns in the sandstone that line the channel, and the shoreline carved by the hands of time, this breathtaking cruise is taking us through the 99 islands. But I guess you can chalk that name up to the modesty of the Japanese people. There's actually 286 islands out here. Pulling ashore on one of those islands, a chance to explore a new habitat. For sailors who spent the last three weeks at sea, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, you're, you're trapped in something of a steel cage uh, 24 hours a day. And I work nights, so I don't even see the sun, you know, it's just, just the boat. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a great way to escape. It's peaceful, uh, it's enjoyable, you know, and uh, you know, if you're in good company, it's, that makes it even better. Another adventure? Driving up this windy back road to Yumahari Overlook in Saikai National Park. From here, you can see for miles a beautiful view. But the history geek in me has to point out these towers sticking up over this hillside. These antennas sent the signal to the Japanese fleet to attack Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. And when the sun goes down, another overlook you have to visit is at Ishidaka. In the land of the rising sun, this is considered one of the top 10 places to see the sun set. But the sun isn't just setting on Japan, it also marks the end of this Liberty Call, Liberty Call. So where is George Washington heading next? You'll just have to keep it anchored here to find out. <laughs>